Okay, I said I would do this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good because I've seen this video for a while. And I never thought, I thought after Gamergate, there would never come a point where I would come after, you know, where I would be making a video going after Anita Sarkeesian. But apparently we, we need to do this. I stated I, I've got video of her. Some of you have probably seen this nonsense. But um, this is a video of Anita Sarkeesian in one of her, um, I believe one of her college classes that she had to do. Probably a women's studies class or some bull crap like that. Um, back in about 2010 where she does a video about video games. And you're going to see a small portion of it. It's very much a feminist. It's exactly what you'd expect from a feminist to go on there. Uh, angry at men. Claiming there's too many. getting uh, Blaming men for just about everything. Uh, it's, it's absolute bullshit. So, the thing that's interesting about this is not the video that Anita has in here. That's just icing on the cake. What's Interesting is what Anita says about her own experience as a video game person. Okay? We hear this all the time. She's a gamer. She's a gamer girl. Y'all just being mean to a gamer girl. Someone's been a gamer her whole life. Watch. I'll show you a remix that I just finished this weekend and no one else has seen. <laughs> one person has seen it. It's a soundtrack of one song, except I'm doing video games. So it's not exactly a fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. Let's let's hear that. You know, just just one more time. Okay? Let's hear that. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. There's too many dicks on the dance floor. Let's go back here again. I mean, I, I don't think I heard so that. Not exactly I'm sorry, what was that? I don't, I, I'm, I'm sure. It's not exactly a fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. Now, I know I didn't hear that. Are, are we sure, Anita? You're, you're not a fan of video games. Is that it? <laughs> what, what happened to I'm a gamer? What happened to I'm the gamer girl? Uh, I'm sorry. You, you tell the media and everyone else, oh, I'm a gamer, I'm this. You've wrote all this stuff on video games. You don't know jack shit about games, okay? And I'm linking this uh, video, okay? You can you can hear it. I'm not just linking this one. I'm linking another video on here that, that's coming up uh, that, that I found, which actually has you side by side when you're doing media and wh what you tell the media and everyone else. You're not a gamer girl. Hey, okay, let's be frank about this right now. These are your words telling everyone in your class that you're not a video game nerd. You're not a fan of video games. I'm pretty certain you don't even like video games. Okay? And this is this gets even better because if we get past her nonsense, this is this is how she views video games, folks. So, she don't like playing video games. She don't like playing Call of Duty. She don't like a lot of the AAA games that have been out there that people have played. I mean, she probably read the, the article that said people who play phone games could be considered gamers. In, in an instance, no, Candy Crush does not qualify. You could play a board game and, and still get the same effect out of uh, Candy Crush. Okay? This is... Uh, this is pretty much kind of proving that you know you're you're not a real gamer, okay? You've walked into an area and you are for lack of a better example, you're the scientist that went to Australia and started killing aboriginals and selling their skulls. Honestly, and they they actually did this. The, there was actually a group of scientists from England, I believe, or Europe, they went down to Australia, they killed a bunch of aboriginals and sold their skulls as a 
Skulls of the Missing Link. This was actually done. This is what Anita is doing. You are going in there. You are claiming that this group of people are uncivilized. You're basically making all sorts of outrageous, outrageous claims about a hobby that you have no interest in unless you find a way to... And all, the only reason you have interest is you found a way to make money off of outrage. That is it. Unlike your videos, Anita, my comments will be open. So, I mean, we know how you are. You're not open to debate. You're not open to anything because in reality, you're not a gamer. A gamer will fight back. A gamer will press on. A gamer will win. You... You turn off your comments and everything else because every every gamer out there who's worth their salt knows you're a fraud and they can prove you're a fraud. All right? This is the woman that destroyed The Last of Us 2. This is the woman who poisoned Anthem. This is the woman that goes into the gaming industry and anything she touches automatically starts losing money because she gets her fangs into it and starts injecting feminist dogma into it. And at that point, it's like, yeah, that ain't worth playing no more. Okay? Uh, people like this are also the ones running comic books. They're, they're, doing, they're, they're the reason we have Ghostbusters 2020 and all this nonsense. You cannot... These people go in and they poison everything because they're not there. Because these mediums are entertainment. And they don't understand entertainment. All they see is propaganda. They see, when they look at someone who is a gamer, who's a comic book hobbyist, who's a tabletop gamer, who is a movie enthusiast, or has their favorite TV shows, they don't see an intelligent consumer who spends their money on what is enjoyable and what is quality. They see, oh, there's a stupid person over there who if I take over what they're looking at and make it put spit out my dogma, they'll have no choice but to believe it. Like, if I tell them men are bad, all the women will do the Catholic cross thing and say, we seen it, we believe it, and I'll have control, and I'll make all this happen. That's exactly what's happening here. These people have no concept of entertainment. The purpose of video games is entertainment, okay? I mean, I could start going through feminist frequency and start critiquing your videos. <laughs> do you really want me to do that? <laughs> I can do that. If y'all want me to do that, just say so. Because I I guarantee you I can destroy Anita's videos very quickly. And it will be entertaining as frick. Because the one thing you have not... Let me explain something. People have not heard me on YouTube being a dick. I can be... Uh, let me say something. You want to hear me be an absolute total jackass and a funny one at that. Just ask me if you want me to critique feminist frequency. Honestly, I don't want to because I'm going to have to watch Anita's bullshit. And I don't know if I have enough. I don't know if I have enough harsh chemicals in my system to fight off that kind of cancer. Okay. I'm going to have to go cut some treated lumber and powderize the sawdust into a fine powder and snort it in order to get enough um and in order to get enough harmful chemicals to counteract the cancer cells that would be starting up from her bull crap. Okay? To quote Miley Yamanopoulos, feminism is cancer. Anita Sarkeesian is poison to the industry. I am the last Raider folks. Like, subscribe if you're new. Comment in the videos if you want to see me critique Anita's videos because unless people start Unless I get about 10 or 15, because I've got, let's see, we got 40 subscribers. I'm going to say just one fourth of the subscribers say they want me to critique Anita's videos. Well, critique Anita's videos. And trust me, I will max, I may even script those to maximize the funny. Okay. That's, that's about how far I would go for my, for the audience. Okay. But if no one wants it, I'm not even going to bother because really I don't want to look at it. But anyway. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you want to see those videos. And as always, folks, be remember, stay frosty out there. Keep your heads on a swivel because crazies like this are out there. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.